Joshua 20. Hashem spoke to Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Prepare for yourselves the cities of refuge, about which I spoke to you through Moses, where a killer may flee, one who kills a person through carelessness, unintentionally. They will be a refuge for you from the avenger of the blood. He shall flee to one of these cities, stand at the entrance to the city gate, and speak his words into the ears of the elders of that city. They shall bring him into the city to them and provide him a place, and he shall dwell among them. If the avenger of the blood chases after him, they shall not deliver the killer into his hand, for he struck his fellow unintentionally. He did not hate him from yesterday and before yesterday. He shall dwell in that city until he stands before the tribunal for judgment, until the death of the Kohen Gadol who will be in those days. Then the killer may return and go to his city and to his house, to the city from which he fled. They designated Kadesh in the Galilee in the mountains of Naphtali, and Shechem in the mountains of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountains of Judah. On the other side of the Jordan, by Jericho, to the east, they designated Bezer in the wilderness in the plain from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in the Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel and for the resident who dwells among them, to which any person who kills through carelessness may flee and not die by the hand of the avenger of the blood before he stands before the tribunal. Joshua 21. The heads of the ancestral families of the Levites approached Eleazar the Cohen, Joshua, son of Nun, and the heads of their father's households of the tribes of the children of Israel. They spoke to them in Shiloh, in the land of Canaan, saying, Hashem commanded through Moses to give us cities in which to dwell, and their open surrounding spaces for our animals. So the children of Israel gave to the Levites from their heritages, according to the word of Hashem, these cities and their open spaces. The lottery came out for the families of the Kohathite, for the sons of Aaron the Kohen, who were of the Levites. There were from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Simeon, and from the tribe of Benjamin, by lottery, thirteen cities. For the remaining sons of Kohath, from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from half the tribe of Manasseh, by lottery, ten cities. To the sons of Gershon, from the families of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, and from the tribe of Naphtali, and from half the tribe of Manasseh in the Bashan, by lottery, thirteen cities. For the sons of Merari, according to their families, from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. The children of Israel gave these cities and their open spaces to the Levites, as Hashem had commanded through Moses by lottery. They gave, from the tribe of the children of Judah and from the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities which will be mentioned by name. And they belong to the sons of Aaron from the Kohathite family of the children of Levi. For theirs was the first lottery. They gave them Kiriath Arba, the father of giants, which is Hebron, in Mount Judah, and its open spaces around it. But the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, as his possession. To the sons of Aaron the Kohen they gave the city of refuge for killers, Hebron and its open spaces, Libna and its open spaces, Jatir and its open spaces, Eshtemoa and its open spaces, Holon and its open spaces, Debir and its open spaces, Ain and its open spaces, Jutah and its open spaces, Beth Shemesh and its open spaces, nine cities from these two tribes. From the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon and its open spaces, Geba and its open spaces, Anathoth and its open spaces, and Almon and its open spaces. Four cities. All the cities of the sons of Aaron, the Kohanim, were thirteen cities in their open spaces. As for the families of the sons of Kohath, the Levites, those that were left from the sons of Kohath, the cities of their lottery were from the tribe of Ephraim. They gave them the city of refuge for killers, Shechem and its open spaces in Mount Ephraim, Gezer and its open spaces, Kibzaim and its open spaces, and Beth Horon and its open spaces, four cities. From the tribe of Dan, Eltaki and its open spaces, Gibbethon and its open spaces, Ihalon in its open spaces, and Gath Rimon in its open spaces, four cities. From half the tribe of Manasseh, Tanash in its open spaces, and Gath Rimon in its open spaces, two cities. In all, there were ten cities in their open spaces for the remaining families of the sons of Kohath.
For the sons of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, from half the tribe of Manasseh, the city of refuge for the killer, Golan and the Bashan, and its open spaces, and Besh Terah and its open spaces, two cities. From the tribe of Issachar, Kishion and its open spaces, Dobrath and its open spaces, Jarmuth and its open spaces, and Enganim and its open spaces, four cities. From the tribe of Asher, Mishal and its open spaces, Abdon and its open spaces, Helkath and its open spaces, and Rehob and its open spaces, four cities. From the tribe of Naphtali, the city of refuge for the killers, Kadesh and the Galilee and its open spaces, Hamath Dor and its open spaces, and Kartan and its open spaces, three cities. All the Gershonite cities, according to their families, were thirteen cities and their open spaces. For the families of the sons of Merari, the remaining Levites, from the tribe of Zebulun, Jokneam and its open spaces, Karta and its open spaces, Dimna and its open spaces, and Nahalal and its open spaces, four cities. From the tribe of Gad, the city of refuge for killers, Ramoth in the Gilead and its open spaces, Mahanaim and its open spaces, Heshbon and its open spaces, and Jazer and its open spaces, all the cities, four. All the cities for the sons of Merari, according to their families, the remaining families of the Levites, their lot was twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight, and their open spaces. Every single city of these cities shall be given with its open spaces all around it. So shall it be for all these cities. Thus Hashem gave to Israel the entire land that he swore to their forefathers to give. They inherited it and dwelled in it. Hashem granted them rest from all around, according to all that he had sworn to their forefathers. No man from among all their enemies stood before them. Hashem delivered all their enemies into their hands. Nothing of all the good things of which Hashem had spoken to the house of Israel was lacking. Everything came to pass.